Alright, alright, alright. What's up, guys? Average Gamer signing on back for another video. Another week, another VGC challenge. Now, for the past couple weeks, we've been doing monotype teams, but this week we have a special request from a fellow YouTuber, actually, to try out their team inspired by Red. So that's going to be the challenge for this week. Obviously, shout out to the YouTuber. I can't really pronounce his name. Lawson, it's like something like that, but obviously, his channel will be in the description. The specific video where the team came from will be in the description and obviously the team code in the description as well. Shout out to him. He reached out to me, asked me to try this cool team he made. So that's what we're going to do. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe. We're on our way to 300 subs. We'd love for you guys to be a part of that journey. And yeah, support has been crazy this past month. So I just want to thank you guys for that. All right. So let's talk about the team. Now, this YouTuber actually speaks another language. So it was kind of watching his video. I kind of got... A good sense of how the team works but not perfectly and that's why we're here so we're going to be kind of working as we go with this team but i think it's pretty interesting first off we got pikachu the mascot lightning rod with focus sash and obviously focus sash endeavor very fun combo to use nuzzle and fake out as well as thunder with flying terra now hopefully my thunders are hitting hopefully but pikachu is mainly meant for support to set up some of our other pokemon that we'll talk about in a bit Next up, we have a Blast Toys with zero speed. I'm guessing it'll function better in Trick Room with Mirror Coat and Hydro Cannon. <laughs> Again, this team's kind of crazy. Icy Wind to get some better speed control, which is very nice. And Haste to stop setup with a Ground Terra, probably to avoid Maridon. Yeah, this thing can come in and probably just nuke something, right? I'm pretty sure the EV sp uh, spread on this was max hp max special attack with mods if i remember correctly um so i don't know what's exactly meant to take but we're gonna see we got the utility umbrella as well which is pretty interesting a niche item but with that and the rain dish pretty interesting blast toys i'm gonna try going for a mirror coat play i'm gonna try next up we got charizard heat wave dragon pulse solar beam air slash with the choice scarf solar power with full fire terra this thing just comes in and does like insane damage that's about it. <laughs> Next up, we got Venusaur, Chlorophyll, White Lens with Sleep Power, very classic, with the Fire Terra, Weather Ball, and Giga Drain. Next up, our Pikachu is mainly fake outing to support our Snorlax with Ghost Terra to stop fake outs. And actually, he has the Custap Berry, which allows me to go first when my health is uh, beneath half. And obviously, with Glutton, it's a half instead of a fourth very interesting <laughs> now the snorlax does not have protect on it which is personally how i like to play belly drum sets but because we don't we can fit an extra move which is probably bison with earthquake and rock slide uh earthquake's very interesting it's because besides charizard everyone else on the team is going to get hit by it but we're going to try and make it work we're going to try and lastly we have our restricted pokemon being Coridon, help set up our venusaur and our charizard uh, with the life orb set with protect dragon color heat crash instead of something like flare blitz or flame charge and then collision course with a full fire terra this team looks really cool man <laughs> it looks cool um it's definitely a team that i'm gonna have to get used to i think he told me that the general kind of gist of the team pikachu snorlax when i can get it um gonna be the most powerful lead belly drum and then fake out something against calyrex shadow he told me that's kind of a tough matchup against really ice calyrex as well but if i'm not facing a calyrex i'm probably going to be able to get a, to get away with pikachu snorlax pretty well so yeah that's the squad we're gonna see if we can get some dubs it's def i think i'm definitely gonna have to play differently than how i like to personally play pokemon to make this team work but hey that's why it's a challenge shout out to my man again his channel his video the team code all in the description check him out very cool. Seems like a cool guy. Alright, let's see if we can get some Ws. Alright, first game. Got a Kyogre team with Overquill. Very nice. Ooh, actually, hold on. This team looks very familiar. Uh, With an Overquill and Volcarone. This team looks familiar. I can't remember where, though. This team looks very familiar. Okay, um... If I remember correctly, this team actually has a Choice Scarf Lando on it. The Flando will be a concern, sadly. Uh, I don't even know how. Okay. 
God, I completely forget the sets of these things. Um, so obviously with his Torn probably having Rain Dance, winning the Weather War is going to be kind of difficult. Um, I don't think I can go wrong with Lead. I think I can still get away with this, honestly. Bring Venusaur in the back with Coridon. That's like my thought. With Rillaboom, I don't really think I want to bring Blastoise. Um, Mission. Well, Icy winning things could be nice, but I don't even think I need speed to win this. Let's go with this. Let's see how this goes. I feel like against this team, you could kind of just lead Tornogre against it, so. Yeah, and he does. Okay. Now, obviously, I could have gone... A play I was thinking of is leading Pikachu Venusaur. And then switch out Pikachu for a Coridon. Instantly get weather and then try nuking the Snorlax. I mean, I could have. But it kind of risks him just tearing immediately just to cover himself. Then he ra uh, rain dances next turn. I'm kind of in an awkward spot, so I didn't really want to do that. Let's do this. Yeah, I kind of could just go for Thunder, right? I don't think I need... Just in case Rock Slide doesn't kill, because it's not like I need to... Yeah, it's not like I have to do anything. Um, we can just go for Rock Slide here. Get that cussed out. We hit both, which is very good. So, we get rid of two here. Crit on the Tornadus. Didn't matter. And so now, we're all set to win this Weather War. That boy Snorlax took that like a champ, by the way. Like I said, if... This guy said, you know, if I don't face a Calibre, that actually didn't kill it. Wow. Very surprised. Very surprised. Yeah. If I don't face a Calyrex, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> if I don't face a Calyrex, I'm pretty confident I can kind of do whatever I want. God, I really wish that killed, man. That's unfortunate. I really wish that killed. I probably should have made the safe play. Probably should have made the safe play. Ooh, overkill. Okay. Yeah, I might have made the safe play. He actually did just fake me out. Wow. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Um, honestly, I kind of could just switch out right now. I can reset fake out as well. I don't think I have to do anything. Hmm. Um. Okay, how do I, like, ensure a win? I think that's kind of... I'm going to switch and reset fake out.
Okay. This Snorlax is a bulky boy. It is the life orb. Kill. Okay, there we go. So we're going to bring in Coridon now. And this will allow us to... I don't want to do this. Because his play here is probably switching his Rillaboom out. Probably. Part of me kind of wants to double switch, to be honest. I don't even think I need to do that. I'll just attack. Yeah, this is his play, obviously. I haven't Terra yet either. I didn't really factor Terra. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Cool. We're getting some crits today. Wonderful. I'll take what I can get. Yep. Cool. First dub. Team's pretty cool, man. Team pretty cool. As you see, instantly got the Custat Berry will catch so many people off guard. I think it's such a great choice. And honestly, that one Custat turn can put you so ahead that you're probably just going to win. <laughs> but GG to my man. This team's really cool, man. Check it out. I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, let's get another one. Oh my God, there's a cute little baby. Hey, baby. Sorry, there was a baby out the window. Very cute, very cute. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what do we have here? What we have here is a team I have no idea the point of. <laughs> um, well, we got the Tyranitar Howling Stone. We get that. I guess he just put snow for Aurora Bell, I guess. I guess that's why he did that. Um, well, my play is obvious. If he leads Ninetales, I'm just going to fake it out and then belly drum and then i'm going to kill him um if he leaves blaziken alongside it i'll just like tear a ghost so i don't die to the blaziken and then double rock slide and i probably just flat out win <laughs> uh question is do i want to bring Venusaur? i mean i can uh i could bring blastoise eh, no 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 think about black like blastoise is a very niche pick on this team i think it's not really meant to do damage. Hydro Cannon's a nuke, but like if you don't kill, kind of ew. Um, Nicey one's kind of like whatever. I don't need speed, honestly. I think Venusaur's the play. I think we go with the same four. I think we go with the same four. I'm not gonna bring Charizard just because he. Might want to bring that Houndstone in back, the Tyranitar Houndstone combo. And if he does that, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> kind of. This is like the f Okay, he led with exactly what I was expecting. Cool. So my play here is obvious. Um. We are going to fake out. Here we go. And hit the drum, baby. I actually have never played on this stage, by the way. Like, never. 
I do like the different stages. My only problem is it feels like I get the same two every time. It's either the like Elite Four where you challenge the Elite Four, or the uh, like schoolyard playground, whatever. Break break? What the? F Did he expect me to set like light screen or something? Brick Break is very toxic. Very toxic. Yeah, speed boost, that's not gonna matter. <laughs> that's not gonna matter, my friend. Let's hit our cuss tap. Granted, we are really like going for a rock slide, but we are hitting our rock slides today. He actually lived. Crazy. That's fine. Bring us to our sash. We can endeavor anything coming out, which is very nice, unless it's like, I don't know, freaking Houndstone or something, I don't know. If he brings out Tyranitar here, we're in a great position. Wonderful, so we gain speed control in this map. Honestly, I've shown the rock slide, so I don't think he like flying terrors or anything, right? I feel like don't even risk the miss go for Earthquake. I lose Pikachu here anyway, so... Cool. See if T-Tar survives this. Well, see if Snorlax survives this, rather. Okay, I suspected he wouldn't. Just wanted to see. But now we bring Venusaur out of the wind. <laughs> you're dead. Wait, no, you're not. I would have liked you to die there, but that's okay. Uh, my Venusaur should be faster than this, uh, Blaziken. It should be. Just in case you try Ghost Terroring, I'm gonna Dragon Claw you. Then, just gonna, like, Weather Ball you. Cool. This team works, man. This team works. My boy was cooking something good. Oh, he didn't even bring hounds down. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> GG. This is our best challenge yet. I don't think we started off with two dubs off the bat in a minute. Man made a very cool team. But I told you, man, you got teams? Let me see them. Let me use them. I want to taste some of the power. All right, let's get another one. Okay. The Suyin Typlosion. I like this guy already. I respect the Suyin Typlosion. Uh, Serena, so I can't go for priority, which really sucks. Gonna hurt my Snorlax and Pikachu combination. That is what Serena does, right? Hold on. Yeah, okay. It does protect from priority. It's like freaking for Rigoraf. 
Okay. Um. How do I want to handle this? I mean, honestly. Honestly, with this team, unless he leads a ride on automatically, I don't even. I think I could get my belly drum off, anyways. Honestly. <laughs> Um, I think I can get it off regardless. I want to bring Pikachu or Charizard. I gotta give Charizard some shine, man. Screw it. Probably should have brought Pikachu, but I don't like, I don't care. <laughs> I got my W's. Let's see how this. Let's see some other things with this team. I'm gonna get Blastoise in here at some point as well. I'm gonna try. It's gonna work right on. Okay. Well, my man here has a couple options. He either fakes out my. Hmm. What are his options here? He fakes out my Incineroar to avoid- He fakes out my Venusaur, excuse me, to avoid the sleep power and then goes for an insta-kill on Snorlax. Uh, to stop that, honestly. I just protect. And... Belly Drum. Which, honestly... I don't think he does anything else. I don't see him doing anything else this turn besides that. To be honest. I don't see him doing anything else this turn besides that. I think that's his play. We are tearing. We're going Terra Fire here. This is wonderful. If this play works and I live, my Snorlax will kill both his Pokemon. I just need to not get hit for half health. I didn't even recognize the Venusaur shiny. I didn't even realize. Blair Blitz, protect, wonderful. Uh, let's see what this other guy does. Ooh. Oh, and we avoided it. Oh, we. Oh, the power, the power. This is why we play red, guys. This is why we play red right here. This is why we play him. I'm not even gonna risk my boy taking damage. We're switching this out immediately, and this guy's about to get screwed. <laughs> My luck is top tier. I have not missed a rock slide yet. And I avoided the Will-O-Wisp. I don't really predict Incineroar to have Will-O-Wisp. It's like the lower tier of his moveset. Most of the time they're still rocking uh, Flare Bits, Knock Off, Fake Out, and then like Parting Crowd or something. They're still rocking those sets. I've seen like Taunts as well. Who is outside my window? Anyway, uh, this game's over. <laughs> this game's over. That will always screwed him. I don't know. Uh, I would have been at what? I got burned, so it'd be like, what, plus two? Uh, yeah, I would have been plus two, right? I think so. Uh, I don't know if it would have killed. Don't know. He knows that I'm Choice Scarf, but I don't care. Uh, doing type Plosion is probably the threat in this situation. Wait, no, I don't even want to do that. Do I just keep going for Heat Wave? I mean, I want a Dragon Pulse because then Charizard's useless. Solar Beam is like, eh. Yeah, I think we just Heat Wave. Oh, he just, okay, he surrendered. Cool. <laughs> cool. Let's go! <laughs> Alright.
Safe to say this challenge was a success. Safe to say. My man made a pretty dope team. Granted. <laughs> I will say this. If they bell if I belly typically when I face belly drum teams, what I do is if I can't stop the belly drum, I'll just let them have it. And then I instantly protect the next turn. That's just something like I like to do. Just so A, I can see what moves they go for. So I can like navigate from there. And B, more times than not, belly drum users are like pretty slow. So oftentimes they'll try to protect as well because they fear a double up and they just die and they belly drum for nothing. So if someone did that against me, I waste my custat berry and I probably just lose. Well, not lose, but I waste like the main part of this team. Um, at that point, I'm essentially fighting almost a two on four because Pikachu, although good, is meant to set up Snorlax. And I'm really relying on Thunder to do damage. I would like Thunderbolt, but my luck is top tier today, so it's all right. But yeah, besides that, the team works. Now, obviously, in the best of three format, eh, right? <laughs> because I know this, and obviously, I'm damn sure protecting. But in best of one, I just think people don't even suspect the Custap, so they don't even bother protecting themselves. So, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's make it four battles. Let's make it four. All right, last one. And we're facing a pretty interesting take on the Maridon team. Obviously, we have Furigarav, so I'm automatically assuming Ground Terra. Um, the Iron Tre I don't think I've faced an Iron Treads in BGC yet. Or a Weavile, for that matter. Hmm. Regardless. <laughs> uh, well, mm, how, how, okay. How likely is it that he leads for Rigoraf against me? Unlikely. We're bringing Blastoise as well, because I got to show him off at least once. At least once, right? I don't even care if I lose at this point. Blastoise, you're my favorite Gen 1 starter. You got to get some shine. Um, I wonder if Utility Umbrella stops the freaking... Hydro Cannon, nerf damage from Sun. I don't know. Do I even want to bring Karate onto this match? I probably do, right? Good against Weavile and Treads. Decent against Ogre Pond as well. Yeah, why not? I don't really see it. Ooh, actually, now I'm thinking about it. He can encore my belly drum, which would not be good. Eh, screw it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I should have led Blast Toys. Oh, he didn't even lead Maridon. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I want to do here. I mean, it's not like I'm desperate for anything. I don't want to fake out. I'm just going to get on court. I'll just do this. Oh, that thing has fake out too? Crazy. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I I can believe God we've all got fake out. I just need to get rid of this thing and then I win, so. Uh do I just pop fire terror with this thing? No, no, I don't. I don't. But I use ground terror and absolutely screw his life.
I'm actually gonna Icy Wind. I don't know how much Icy- Would Icy Wind kill him in this situation? I also don't know who's slower between Blastoise and Snorlax. I would imagine Snorlax is slower. Yeah, this is fine. I could have belly drummed right here. That's not good. if we can get him here. Uh, do I Miracote or Hydro Cannon is the question. You can Terra right now. Wait, would Miracote even work if I don't take damage? How does Miracote even work? I completely forget. Yeah, that's if I get... It says if I get hit. If I do this, I'm not gonna get hit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ground tear an icy wind. This way, my Karadon can come in and be faster than everything. Please don't use an ice move on me. Okay, this is fine. Hmm. He's locked into drift. Unless he's not specs, which honestly, given the team, I would expect them to be. Is there a way for me to still win this? There probably is. I need to get this turn right, though. Uh, his options are to electro diff my Coridon. There's no way I die from it, though. There, there's no way, unless he's not Scarf, unless he's not specs and goes for Draco, then I'll die. But do I want to risk that? Is the question. Do I live a ice move from Weavile? That's kind of where my brain's at right now. I don't know if I do. My Coridon? I'm so I'm er uh, I wasted my Terra. That's kind of the problem. We ran out of time. So I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. I was really thinking about attacking that Weavile. Okay, it is Tredge. Damn. This Weavile is still faster than me, by the way. Wait, did I run out of time? I don't think I hit collision course. Huh. Oh well. Did that Weevil have Covert Cloak on him? No. He's literally just faster than me still. Yeah, uh, because of Tailwind, but wouldn't I be faster than him anyway? Unless this thing is adamant. I feel like I would be faster than him anyway, right? 
Bummer. I'm stalling. <laughs> but it gives me a chance to talk, so it's whatever. Oh, and it's Fairy Terror? Yeah, we're cooked. Team's really cool. Team's really cool, though. Uh, what could I have done here? Um, Encore pretty much prevented Belly Drum. I probably should have brought Snorlax in the back. I completely forgot about Encore to like the last minute. Um, this thing was definitely specs, by the way. Um, what could I have done? What could I have done? Yeah, I probably just leading Karada on immediately, but I risk dying to a Moonblast. Is probably I needed to use my Terra then. Uh, I have to hope to kill this, right? Take a hit and kill that, maybe. I don't know. Ice Punch is very weak. Yeah. Unfortunate. I can't believe I'm not faster than that Weavile. Very weird. Very weird. Granted, I didn't attack it anyway, so. Little play still wouldn't have worked. But one loss. We can take that. We can take that. Cool team. Cool team. Shout out to my man. Again, check out his channel. Check out his video. Check out the team for yourself. Team's really cool, man. Really fun. Really fun. I say a successful challenge. You guys got any more teams? Send them over, man. I'm always excited to use y'all stuff, man. Let me see. Let me get a taste of the power. All right. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Average Gamer signing off. I'll catch y'all next time.